In HAPBX, each extension includes several advanced settings that give you more control and flexibility. To access them, go to PBX, Extensions, choose the extensions, and click on Advanced here. You can adjust different parameters. For example, you can set the ring time, how long the phone rings before voicemail or hang up. You can also define the call limit, which determines how many calls this extension can handle at once. The internal auto answer option lets the phone automatically answer internal calls through the speaker. You can modify the dial profile to set how transfers or ringback tones behave. You can also select a music on hold class. This defines what music plays when someone is placed on hold. There's an option to assign a secretary extension. We'll explain this feature in more detail later. Another useful setting is Caller ID on diversions. You can choose whether to show the original caller's ID or the extension number when forwarding a call. You can also enable missed call notifications using the email template. Choose which types of missed calls trigger an email, internal, external, queue, or ring group. The Diversion Hints option lets you monitor forwarding status from another extension. It's off by default because it adds system load, so use it carefully. You can also block Spy Me if you don't want this extension to be monitored using the Spy feature. This is often used for admin or management extensions in call center environments. You can also hide your caller ID to keep the extension anonymous within the company. Enable or disable call, waiting to decide what happens when the line is busy. Send to voicemail or hang up. The pinless feature lets you use functions that normally require a pin without entering it each time. Dynamic routing automatically routes returning calls to the last extension that handled them. For example, if a client spoke to you earlier, their next call will go directly to your extension. You can also enable Dynamic Caller ID, helpful. If this extension acts as a trunk connected to another system, it uses the incoming caller's ID as the outbound caller ID. Lastly, the callback on Busy Transfer option lets a call return to this extension if the target extension is busy. In the call center settings, you can easily add this extension as a static or dynamic agent in multiple queues. And finally, under User Portal, you can set up a username, password, and profile picture so users can log in and manage their extensions. You can enable or disable the User Portal anytime, and we'll explore it more in another video.